should we like make the bed? Just end it. Everything you just did. Are you gonna make the bed? I'm making the bed. soon, which I'm hoping that after my next visit, I'm only about a month away from being weight-bearing. Uh, or sooner. Uh, I think that, it's going to be sooner. That is the sooner. I mean, he said two to three months, and I'm trying to do it in, in just two. And so once I'm weight-bearing, there's still not a lot of things I can do, but I mean, at least I can actually put weight on this leg. I can't, it's not my excuse anymore, you know, so it's, uh, and then from there, um, I don't see why we can't go somewhere. Because his thing right now is, is if we do travel, he can drive. He can drive just fine, but everything else he can't help with. So whenever we're um, unhooking and hooking up the hitch, when we're leveling everything, um, hooking everything up. I can do some of it, but it has to be in one spot. I can't help with, yeah, I can't help with unhooking everything, but I can help with the leveling. I can see it, I can foresee it being very stressful for me. And then handling the, well, handling the dogs. Well, and also we can't do it for the next at least two weeks or so. We're watching a dog out of Austin for, for a brother-in-law. <laughs> we're dog sitting three dog. days a week, so Monday, Thursday, Friday, we're in Austin. Yeah. Um, so traveling's not going to happen within the next two weeks. The last we had updated you guys before he hurt his leg, our goal was to go to Florida and Disney World in September slash October. And with the way finances are going right now, that's not going to happen. Well... The finance shifted towards my leg. Yes. So, so his his leg is now our trip to Disney. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, it's actually like the, it's more. Yeah, it's probably more. That's like a very indulgent trip to Disney. Yeah. Get you some, like, Mickey Mouse ears for your leg. I'll draw it on. I can't afford the ears. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, our, that was our goal. So Disney is not going to happen, but I'd still like to go to Florida. I thought, I thought you wanted to go to Colorado. Well, we're already going to. We're going to Colorado in a year. But that's that's not RV it related might be. though. That's I, way I, in the future. That's, but, I'm talking the next few months. Focus here. Focus. You focus. The next few months. Where, where can we go? Where can RV to Colorado? You want to go to Florida? I want to go to a nice beach. Yeah, Alabama. Have you seen those beaches? They're like white sands. I don't know. Well, the water's and not I as like, good though. And I like Florida. Yeah. Long trip. We were already planning on doing it, but. Mm -hmm. It's like, I was hoping for Disney. You know, if we go that far, I'm just going to want to go to Disney. Or we can go to um, Universal Studios. I, 
And you're talking about places where I have to like get around pretty well. Oh yeah. So Disney's not gonna happen. Universal's <sighs> not gonna happen. <laughs> well, no. I just need to know what I can do while weight bearing. So it's gonna be a little while, but I'm hoping like once I'm weight bearing, I can do my PT, you know, my rehab well enough to where after about a month I can. Because I mean, I I got to the point where this stopped hurting in just like a week or two. And I was and able then, to throw it around and do all my exercises no problem. Even the PTs like, you don't need me anymore. Like for this stage, I just need the doctor's approval to get to that next stage. But then, you know, whenever we do travel, we want to do things. Like we want to go on hikes and we want to go like do be out and about and yeah. active. And as of right now, we can't really do that. So we're kind of limited as far as where we plan to go because I don't want to go to Disney or Universal now that you brought that up and have you miserable not able to get around um, I won't be miserable it's just gonna you know what I mean like in a lot of pain or set your recovery back I don't want to cause more stress than we need to I mean if it gets me to the front of the line faster <laughs> I'll wheelchair it up does that I don't know I'm not gonna do that no we're not gonna <laughs> we're not doing that so basically, we have no idea where or when we're going to travel. But you can see that we're antsy and we are ready <laughs> yes, to go somewhere. I really so feel like go somewhere. yeah, something's going to happen soon. Uh, even if it's just small little like weekend trips or something, I don't know. Um, there's a few so things we have to figure out first. We would need things. to go somewhere semi close, but somewhere that you don't have to do a whole lot of strenuous activity. It's still enjoyable and outside. So like a beach. You want to go? I thought you didn't want to go to these beaches. I don't like Texas beaches. Though. Yeah. We can still go to a beach, but it'd have to be out of Texas. I don't know. Where's my Texas map? I don't know, guys. Where's my Texas map? We need help. <laughs> so if, if any of you guys know of places to travel that are somewhat relatively close to the central Texas area, or just Texas in general, but they have a lot of things to see and do without having to hike or strain to get to, because his mobility yeah. is so limited right now. So I don't I don't want to go somewhere that we miss out on, on amazing things because we have to hike there. Oh. So if you guys have any... I don't know. Let's just go somewhere where there's a lot of really good food. No. I You're right. I got, I got goals going that, right now. And yeah. <laughs> that's why I just <laughs> stared at you. I was like, we just talked about this. I just don't know. What do you think, man? I don't know. You're all over the place right now. I don't know. We can go to like a, a lake or something. I mean, that's nearby, the, the water's nice still. Something like that. You wanna do that? We can start looking at lakes now. There's plenty of lakes out there. But we still have to wait for you to be able to put weight on it. So I can't even get in water yet. So that's the other thing that I need to wait for the doctor on. He has to give me the okay to be able to get in water. So his next doctor's appointment is July 3rd. And that's when we'll find out more about possibly when he can start putting weight on it. And if you can get in water. I think that's our next goal, is him to get in water. Yeah, that's, that's um, and the next then, goal. So right. maybe right after that, we can start planning the next trip. But there's a lot of things that we need to do beforehand. I'm checking up on the RV because we haven't been able to do a whole lot with it. While it's been sitting here, I know that we need to, to make sure everything is still okay to travel. Those are the next steps. Um, I, I want to do a deep cleaning of it, like the outside of it and everything. I'll do a video of that uh, when I get on top of it clean everything off and clean off like the the slide out stuff to go through and make sure like all the tires are good and everything in the front is good so we need to do that. I also want to do a video it's not necessarily RV related but talking about the uh, finances and the cost of his leg because I think that's quite interesting and not a lot of people talk about that. I don't know, that topic. on the road right. too as well. So. Right and it's got it's really got me thinking as far as finances go you know what this could have looked like <laughs> yeah. had we not had insurance so that'll be a separate video uh is what i think it's going to be um interesting and helpful information for some of you guys so make sure and stay tuned for those but of course if you do have any video requests make sure and post them in the comments below yeah tell us where to go yes how about that tell us where to yes, go we do need with to. all those limitations we just gave you <laughs> so, no strenuous hiking no long distances we can Probably do water. Well, fun things to do and see with those limitations. You have a phone call? Mm -hmm. yeah, take it. All right. Well, close this out. Close this out. Right. Have fun out there. Bye. <laughs> no, it's Matt Aru. Can I help you? Hey, Aaron. How's it going?